the greatest creation of mankind. Kit Fisto. I've decided it's time to like, timely, timely, finally time to bust out this bad boy for real. Let's get down to business here because this is going to be a good one. So here we have the sideshow uh, Jedi, whatever, 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 Order of the Jedi, Kit Fisto. I don't have a box for this guy and I don't have any extra accessories for this guy because where I got him, I got him cheap. I got him really cheap. All I needed was the figure. The rest I could figure out. He's got a Grievous lightsaber. If you watched a Plo Koon video, which you should, you'll know that he's got a Grievous lightsaber because he didn't come with a lightsaber. And that's it. It's just straight, unadulterated Kid Fisto. Let's get into the review, shall we? Another one of the So this is another one of those figures that nobody has talked about in a long while. But I got my hands on him because I was like, you know, let's give these sideshow Jedi a chance. People sell them for cheap. I'll give them a chance because I want some extra Jedi. Because we got the Obi-Wan, we got the Mace Windu, we got the Yoda, we got the Anakin, we got the Ahsoka. But I was looking for some of the weird ones, some of the weirder guys that nobody talks about. So I got Kid Fisto. And obviously I got the Plo Koon. And I've got two other ones that I'm still working on getting. But I will get at some point. And I'll talk about those as well. But we're not going to talk about that right now. We're Right now, we're talking about Kid Fisto. And let's start off by talking. The head. Really good. That's great. What's less good is the rest of the body. This, he's, I don't know where this like weird pinkish color, you can't really tell. Hold on, ready? There. That weird pinkish color comes from. But that's what they went with. It's it's odd. It's something that can be fixed. If I ever have time, I'll figure it out. I've seen other people kit bash. This guy to look better. He looks okay. He looks okay. And I'm uh you know, I'm happy he's here. I'm happy I have him. But like I said, he's got this grievous lightsaber, he's got one of the green ones. And he's got a holding hand, he's got a flat hand. I assume that the accessories he has is the same as Plo Koon, where it's opposite inverse hands and then no communicator. But I can't tell you because I don't have them. Let's talk about that cute head of his. Look at that handsome boy. Oh. What is it? What is it that Optimus Primal says? He's like, there he is, my little guy. There he is, my, my little, little guy. guy. Isn't he cute? It's not what I wanted to hear. So yeah, here's Kid Fisto in the head, right? I think this is this is the uh, Revenge of the Sith head, I think. Because if you if you look at Kid F if you've never paid attention to Kid Fisto, which most people haven't, he's got two heads. He's got an Attack of the Clones head, and he's got a Revenge of the Sith head, and they're two different heads. I think this is Revenge of the Sith. He looks a lot more friendly in Attack of the Clones, if I remember correctly. Woo! midnight reviews he looked a lot more friendly at attack of the clones and yes he's he is smiling look he's a very happy guy but um i think this might be the revenge of the sith head he's got the long draping tentacles that's great that looks they do look pretty good a touch-up of paint might be nice but i'm not gonna do that he's got all the ones back here they droop nicely down all the way back up don't look at that corner don't look at that corner don't look at that corner bringing you back again uh the head looks really good it's the rest of the outfit that's kind of iffy at best anyway my light man it's dysfunctional today i am just dysfunctional anyway Enough about the head. Let's talk about everything else. So, when it comes to Kid Fisto, he comes with his robe, which is better to keep on. He does look a lot better with it on. It sits under the tentacles. It's kind of hard to get it under there. But he's got the robe, and it covers up all that pink. He's got the, um... Going down. 
He's got the solo piece boot like uh, Plo Koon has. I think they all have that. There's no split boots here in Sideshow Land. He's got the display stand, which you will be keeping him on because he's got those boots. Moving up. Nice loose pants for posability. Hand. Another hand. And then the robe. Underneath, he's got the little pouch like uh, Plo Koon. It opens up. There would be things inside had I had them. And then he's got the pink robe. He does have a brown under robe. I don't know how much of it is. And you can see that there's some gray underneath here. And I have no clue what that is. And I, I haven't been brave enough to investigate yet. At some point, like I said, I will get around to investigating this guy further. But for now, he looks great in the background with Plo Koon. How about let's talk about articulation. Let's just say this guy sure articulates. So head. It's about all you're getting. Arm. Right. The arm's got some range. Let me move the camera back so you can see this a little bit better. Range of motion. If the robe wasn't on, he would definitely move a bit better. We're keeping that robe on. Look at that. The sideshow body for how old it is. Definitely moves. <laughs> Ignore that noise. I um I saw a spider. Sure that's what we'll go with. He crunches. Jeez, look at that. Crunches back that far. Let's lift his Jedi skirt. His leg goes up that far. His leg goes. Let's see if you can see this back that far and his his knee bends really nicely he's about to kick the f meanest soccer ball of your life Doosh. his leg does spread very nicely he's doing the meanest kick of his life Doosh. so this guy is not shy of articulation here. Let's see if I can figure out how to put his leg back down. Oh, Mr. Fisto, I'm so sorry. I need to I need to bring him into he needs to he needs surgery. Alright, I figured it out. There we go. So yeah, this guy's got some mean, mean articulation. And he's got a, he's an old body, so it's loose but it holds together nice enough where it's fine. But you know what's more fine? Having him spend some time with friends. Let's get some friends out, shall we? So there's Mr. Fi so there is Mr. Fisto again. Mr. Fisto looks lonely, so let's bring out his buddy. We've all seen him with his buddy before. There's Mr. Plo Koon. So it's Mr. Plo Koon and Mr. Fisto. They're quite the dynamic duo. Let's bring out their other buddy, Mr. I'm going to kill all these Jedi one day. Mr. Anakin. Who doesn't quite fit in uh, what we're doing here. So let me move Mr. Plo Koon back. And then I'll move Mr. Anakin over here. Plo Koon is single-handedly preventing the Jedi from falling here. And you can see they definitely... God, Anakin is tall. I don't know if he's taller than these two, but he's tall here. Look at that. Enhance on Anakin face. So you can see that these guys, like, say say you have Anakin, right? He's up in the front, and you're like, oh, look. These two behind him, just in general, definitely look not bad. Plo Koon doesn't look bad overall. Like, I think he looks great. But Kid Fisto definitely looks better in the background. Like, you're like, oh, look, I got the Jedi Council or Jedi Order, blah, blah, blah. 
but yeah, I definitely think, like, say you have them in the background. Like, say you have an Obi-Wan here, which I don't have. And then you got those two in the back. I think they work. Like, I definitely think that Sideshow, for the most part, did aliens pretty good. Their humans are rough. I will say, more recently, it's definitely better. I have the uh, Return of the Jedi Skiff Lando. And it doesn't really look like Billy D. Williams, but it definitely looks more like Billy D. Williams than, say, um, I don't know, Sideshow's Qui-Gon Jinn not looking like Qui-Gon Jinn. They're hit or miss. They really are. We're not talking about that right now. We're talking about Sideshow Kid Fisto. And I guess with that, let's wrap up our conversation on Sideshow Kid Fisto. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm Plo Kud. Plo Plo Kud. So let's just go out and say, Kit Fisto here, Sideshow Collectibles, Order of the Jedi, Kit Fisto, is a mixed bag of good and bad. He's got the good. The head is really good. The hands are pretty good. I bet the lightsaber was pretty good. But man, the outfit, uh, the robe is even good. Just the weird outfit color choice is what's throwing me off here. And again, I've seen some pretty good uh, pretty good updates or kit bashes, and people have definitely updated this guy and made him look better. And the head does fit. The head is kind of big, but with these alien characters, I'm not really that concerned about it. But again, the outfit choice is really weird. Would I suggest him? If you got him for a good price, I would say absolutely. Uh, I wouldn't pay more than a hundred dollars for this guy and i didn't i didn't pay more than a hundred dollars for this guy so i'd say that's probably a good max unless you have plans on uh fixing him up then i then i would say definitely go for it but all in all kid fisto not bad looks really good in the background and what else is there to say if you enjoyed this review which i hope you did because i've been really working hard to try to improve my my reviewing skills uh please subscribe or comment you know say something how we doing how you doing how you doing and uh if you think there's something i could definitely add or improve to my review please let me know that as well because i love the feedback i like the back and forth you know anyway i've been me and you've been you and that's the best that uh, either of us can do i will see you next time i make a review. Any final words, dog over in my bed? Nah, she's asleep. Anyway, I'll see you later. I don't even have any sort of box for this guy, so it's, it's just all over the place here.